they started to actually eat Frank alive. Our executive director, John, got a call about a hoarding cruelty case that was local to us. Around 12 large breed dogs, including Huskies, that were living in a horse trailer. So John, our executive director, helped with that case. All dogs were rescued, and they actually stayed at our facility until they were delegated out to other rescues. And a few months later, John got a call from the same sheriff's office saying, we were doing a criminal investigation into that case with the 12 large breed dogs living in a horse trailer. And unfortunately, we just found 20 more on this person's other property living in a horse trailer as well. All 19 other dogs were rescued and safe, but there was one really special boy that if we could take into our sanctuary and provide him the medical treatment and kind of care and rehabilitation that he might need. John went to visit him in the shelter. It was just the most heartbreaking scene. I've worked in rescue for over 10 years and I've never heard of this. Because the dogs, the 20 dogs in the horse trailer, they were so emaciated and they were just being starved to death, they started to actually eat Frank alive. So this poor, sweet, gentle husky boy, he had all these open wounds on his back, on his sides, on his legs, from the other dogs trying to eat him to survive. They opened the horse trailer, all the dogs started to come out and they were rescuing them one by one. And Frank was the last one and he had actually buried himself under the wood chips and feces of all the other animals to hide from the other dogs. But all we could think of was, you know, this poor dog's gonna have PTSD. He's gonna be scared of humans. He's gonna be scared of dogs. We got him back to the sanctuary and I've never seen such a resilient, brave soul. He's absolutely obsessed with people and he's obsessed with other dogs. I got to meet him and he was in our kind of medical area and he had his big cone on and he had all these open wounds. I went up to him and he just melts in your arms. He put this giant cone around my head so that he could lick my face. He is just the most sweetest and gentle creature I've ever met. He started singing to me. He does the husky talking thing to you to let you know that he likes what you're doing. And he realized he was safe. He was comfortable in a home with me. That's essentially why we named him Frank was because he has these beautiful blue eyes. And then he sings the song of his people. Hopefully I'm not gonna cry too much, but Frank has taught me just no matter what life throws at you, just look at it with such joy. And he is just curious about the world and he's so joyful. Even though all these negative things have happened to him in the past, he puts it in the past, he leaves it in the past and he's so resilient. And so if Frank can overcome other dogs eating him alive, you know, I think I am able to overcome the small minuscule problems in my life.